Riley. J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in the end and in with the millions? And millions of J Rock fans from all over the world. You're right here with J Rock. And uh, J Rock came across this channel, VGS. And uh, apparently they have this video that they dropped not too long ago. And they did like this in depth look at the creature from The Last of Us. The most disgusting, deplorable, diabolical looking infected in the entire two games. Known only by two words Rat King. I don't know where they came up with that name, but that's what it's being called. And so, be that as it may, Derrick must say this Naughty Dog did a damn good job of putting together this amalgamation of infested, infected creatures that have somehow come together over years and years of being in one area together. They have fused together. And they have come together, and no, I ain't talking about the Beatles or how Michael Jackson mean come together. I mean they came together to form an ugly, hideous, skin-crawling looking creature. And we are going to take a look at DGS's sort of dive into the character. Alright? But before we do, make sure you go and check your boy out over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash JRock, the great one. Streaming Tuesdays and Sunday nights, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, playing Final Fantasy VII Remake and Doom Eternal. Alright? And make sure that if you subscribe to the People's Channel, uh, I know some of you hit the bell. Um, make sure that you're checking over on the left hand side on YouTube uh, under subscriptions or if you're using your phone under the, under the subscription tab sometimes the, the, uh, the, the notification icon is, um, takes a sweet time so it might be days before you're notified that my video has been going up so make sure that you're aware of that on the left hand side and you can look under there if you don't already know alright but in the meantime in between time Let's check this thing out, shall we? This putrid, oozing, ghastly monster is known as the Rat King. It oh. may be the most advanced infected we've ever seen in the Last of Us universe. It's an amalgamation of all of the infected we've seen before, <laughs> now fused into one demonic being. I'm Andy Burkowski for VGS, and here is the hidden story of the Rat King. We discover this monster in The Last of Us Part 2 as Abby is trying to find medical supplies to help save Yara's life. She ends up in a WLF controlled hospital where her friend Nora can help her find those supplies, but has some bad news about where to get it. Alright, these floors have the ICU, the trauma center, and a few surgical suites. Sounds perfect. There's a reason we haven't touched this area yet. It was ground zero for the whole city. Where they brought the first infected before anyone knew better. It's gonna be overgrown to shit. That right there let me know. Oh, this is undiscovered territory for Last of Us players. An outbreak ground zero where all these newly infected people were festering for decades. At first glance, it doesn't seem all that bad. But Abby eventually finds remnants of Fedra officers that were sent in to fight the beasts, with one officer leaving his last will and testament for us to read. I'm the last of my squad. Everyone else that came down here with me is dead. We secured most of the doors, but some were out of reach due to the overwhelming force of the infected patients. We didn't anticipate this kind of resistance. I thought they were sick and weak. I didn't think I'd see them rip my men apart. I have several bites on my arm and leg. I'm going to take a few more of these fuckers out until I get to my last few bullets. Then I'll go join my squad. If you find this, know that you will need to send more soldiers to fully secure this area. Although, hopefully, 
you blew up this building to kingdom come and weren't dumb enough to try and contain this thing. Good luck, assholes. This thing. This Unfortunately, thing. these assholes didn't just blow the building up and in typical arrogance tried instead to contain it. We also learn at this point that certain areas were blocked off and possibly limited by these soldiers, which, as we'll learn, is one of the key reasons that the Rat King exists. In the same area where we found the last note, we see a church that has been retrofitted to support the overflow of patients and military staff. On the altar here, Abby finds another relic, notes passed around to avoid the prying eyes of soldiers. Are they really going back in there today? Every time only half a squad returns. We lost the lab. It's time to call it. Also, sorry for passing notes like we're in high school. I just don't trust these soldiers listening in. I have no idea what's going on. Why don't they get us out of here? They keep saying evac is going to happen as soon as they make sure the building can be contained. I mean, are they seeing or hearing what's going on down there? We've lost it. I think it's not about containment. I think it's about protecting the data of the research. We need to get out of here. Our friends might still be alive down there. You've seen what those things do. No one could have survived it. Not for this long. It sucks, but they're dead. What are you suggesting? I see Scott fighting with soldiers. He's more than fed up. We get him and look for a way out. Let's give it one more day, see what these new soldiers can do. One day, then we act. Thanks. Is it possible that all of these lives were lost not to save the ones infected, but instead to save the research of those who died? Mm. We are now entering the containment zone. Seeing what it was like for those who changed while in hospital care, initially, it doesn't seem nearly as bad as it should for something that's called Ground Zero until Abby tries to get into the trauma center. What the fuck is that? That trauma center would likely be where most of the infected patients ended up. All of those people mashed together in one room with varying degrees of infection, festering for decades, locked in, safe from the outside world, for now. As we explore this one area in a side room that has been completely overcome by the infection, we get to see the mind of an infected person that's slowly losing all semblance of humanity. To whom it may concern, you cannot treat us like this. I understand that many people are sick, but getting shoved in here and separated from my wife is unacceptable. I've been sitting here for over three hours without an update. The doctor put some ointment on my bite mark and then vanished. This thing hurts and seems to be getting worse. Please deliver this note to your supervisor immediately. Sincerely, Don Carter. Woke up starving, but can't keep anything down. Not even water. My head is fucking pounding. The screaming outside doesn't help. Why did you lock me in here? Someone needs to come. I want to see Sasha. I want my wife. Sasha, help! Can't keep my thoughts. Barely write this. Can't sleep. Too hungry. Get me out. Hungry. Eyes hurt. Sasha. Don Carter went from an annoying Karen looking to speak to a manager into a frothing, zombified monster who is now forever crystallized in his gurney. We don't know how long this transformation took, but we do know he was one of the fortunate ones to not be stowed away in that trauma center. Abby needs those medical supplies, though, but they are hidden behind a door without power. As she searches for a way to turn on the power, we find active clickers stuck for decades, some still fused to the wall waiting for meat. Another artifact from this world helps fill in the blanks as to why this is happening. Steven, I can't keep doing this. I know I'm supposed to run tests and log the data, 
but I can't handle this much pain. I escorted some soldiers to the trauma. I wasn't supposed to go in there. I've seen what the patients turn into. Every single adult and child that is brought in there with a bite or scratch is going to lose their mind, and we keep lying to them. I asked to go home and was told I need to keep going. Some bullshit about national security. Like they offered me an room. office to get some sleep if I want to. Steven, you need to get me out of this. I'm going to have a mental breakdown. Dozens, if not hundreds of people, women and children, all stuck in that one room to fight and claw against each other for survival. With the power now back on, Abby travels to her intended destination, only to find something truly horrifying. Flesh and sinew fuse together over decades, with people now barely even detectable. Now imagine this stewing crystallization of infected flesh, molding and fusing in order to give bloody birth to a monster. We still have to see what came from this horrific mess, but we do know it's big, it's bad, and it's angry. Abby follows the destruction of this beast to an eventual ambulance that has her needed medicine when this happens. Oh, Get ready to celebrate. This part right here? its glory as it hunts down Abby with an instinctual drive, stalking all in its quest to find meat. He don't want no water, he don't want no bread, all he wants is meat. We see that it has the strength of bloaters, the quickness of stalkers, and the abilities of shamblers, even possibly the echolocation of clickers. This creature, though, is still susceptible to flames. Once damaged enough, this organism will diffuse infected from its being, ah, leaving a stalker that hybrid nasty. that seemingly has the same abilities. The Rat King, fierce and terrifying, is not immortal, though. With enough flame and death, it will be extinguished. The sadness here is that this being isn't one person that had a bit of bad luck, nope. but several, dozens, if not hundreds of people who didn't know they were going to die and died a horrific death together. Their only legacy now, the decaying husk of this monstrous creature. Oh. Nasty. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the hidden story of the Rat King. The Rat King. says this. Sherrock loves DGS's narration. Deep voice. How he narrates. Words and the vocabulary. The vernacular and the description. You smell what J-Rock is cooking there. j -Rock really appreciated the, the narration and him using the actual letters that we get in the game and it sounded like he's on a tape recorder that was pretty damn cool make sure you take your candy asses over to vgs video game i think it's sophistry if i'm not mistaken and uh subscribe to his channel and let him know that j-rock the youtube people's champ sent you his way all right post your comments down below and let j-rock know what you thought of this video no rhyme intended on that line and if you appreciate it and enjoy it, the great one's reaction to this that like button subscribe and share any video requests you have go put it on the people's facebook fan page jrock the great one and if i pick your video give you a quick shout out right here on the people's channel lastly hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified thank you for joining jrock until we meet again mamba and gg forever if you smile
What J Rock is cooking.